And I was in India, I was praying, God, what should I say to them? And God said, 2024 is a year of surprises. God is going to surprise you, my brothers and sisters. I want to tell you. How can how can you uh, how can you pastor you can say that? I can tell you, when you decide to do something for the Lord, God is going to surprise you. Hallelujah. Have some burning desire to do certain things for the glory of God. What you have never, where you have never been, what you have never done, you know, do it for the work of the Lord. Share the gospel. Even in your office, in, even in your job, even wherever you are. Stand for the Lord. Don't remember, oh, I am a sinner. Don't remember, I am a drug addict. No, you are, you are new now. You are entering the new season. You are entering into the new glory. You are going to see the good things in the days to come. I'm telling you prophetically. I'm telling you here. There are people who are not having jobs. They will have jobs in 2024. Amen. I will speak to somebody. They can say amen. amen. I can see that people are getting blessed. But one thing I want to tell you. There is one precaution God has given us. If you are ready to stand for God. If you are ready to stand in the presence of the Lord. If you worship the Lord. If you are ready to sacrifice your life. There you see the miracles are going to happen. Hallelujah. There you see the miracles are going to stand just before you. Only thing that we, you know, we were just like, oh, we will do tomorrow. We will pray tomorrow. We will come tomorrow. We will come next year. We may decide in our life, you know, we may think in our life, oh, let me come next time. But no, this is the time that God has, you know, planned us to do certain things for the glory of God. I am telling my brothers, I don't know. When we will die. Maybe today or tomorrow. Oh God, I'm telling, let me tell you. I just came from uh, Johannesburg to Durban. As I'm flying back from Johannesburg to Durban, I, I flew so many times, but for the first time in my life, I saw flight is moving almost 20 minutes. Do you understand that? 20 minutes. Flight was shaking like anything. Everybody cried. Even the pilots, co pilots, they didn't have to inform anything, they didn't speak anything, in one word at all. They are all don't know what is happening actually. It was too much right there. Everybody cried in the flight. I was just uh, listening one song, hearing the word of, uh, you know, uh, song. I told my God, Lord, okay, if it is your time is coming, I'm ready to come. Okay. If it is your not time, okay, let me land safely there. But you know, see the plan of God. I should come here, I should please here. Hmm. So my brothers and sisters, we don't know when we will die. We don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. Maybe in India, I got a news from India. Oh, all are very, very scared and said, Oh, pastor, you went there to South Africa. Oh, you may be stay back in South Africa. I said, Oh, God, I know. I'm not. You should have a faith, my brother. You should have it. you know, trust in the Lord. What are the situations is happening in your life? What are the problems are going to happen going to happen in your life? But you should have a faith on the Lord. Hallelujah! Yeah. They said, oh, envy came. Envy, one of the virus called envy. Envy or envy, I didn't even heard of it. New virus came just before I fly down to South Africa. Yeah, everybody said, oh, you may be locked down there. And you, oh, your race is going to finish by January 18th. And I told I'm coming, don't worry. Everything will be all right. You should have a faith upon the Lord. You have seen so many miracles in your life in 2023. You have to see much more miracles in 2024. Hallelujah! Hallelujah. 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 